Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest fellow Geminis. Gemini, these are going to be love messages for the next couple of weeks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be reading your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Also, play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. All right, my dearest gems, before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, check out the description box. If you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance, and also all the information you need if you would like a private reading and feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you guys get updates whenever I upload anything new. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Geminis. I've already got stuff falling off my desk. So some powerful stuff here. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the Hermit in reverse. Some of you, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, some of you guys have been on your own for quite some time and you're kind of coming out of your shell or maybe somebody's moving towards you. Um, somebody you haven't heard from in a while or somebody that you're separated from. Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys, this person's coming towards you very quickly. They might be showing up at your house. They might be asking to come and see you. Okay, remember it can be vice versa. Some of you guys have been experiencing difficulties and you guys are coming out of those troubled waters, Gemini. All right, so you guys are showing up as the moon in reverse. So some of you guys have Pisces in your chart. You might be dealing with the Pisces, but the moon in reverse is you're getting a lot of clarity here, Gemini. You're having a download, an aha moment. You're seeing things for what they really are. Um, you've moved through some fears and illusions when it comes to this situation. You're seeing your person as the queen of pentacles. You're seeing this person as long-term material, loving, nurturing, very maternal, somebody who takes good care of themselves physically. They might, you might really like their home and their decor. Um, you like the way that they carry themselves. You also like the way, you know, I think they're good with money. They, you can see them offering you stability and nurturing. Um, you see the relationship as the Queen of Swords in reverse. Interesting. For some of you guys, this is a past connection. For some of you, you guys have broken up with this person or you're currently in separation. But it's like maybe it took this distance for you to see, wow, what you really want here. Okay. Or maybe this is a, a connection from a long time in the past, from a long time in the past, and you're reminiscing. Okay. Um, and you're you're realizing, wow, you know, this person, you know, now really sort of seemed perfect for me. Okay, so that's a possibility here, Gemini. All right, your person, they're showing up as the King of Pentacles, so we do have a perfect match. So many of you guys, this is a life partner, a soulmate, a twin flame, okay? And, you know, you guys both might have uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus in your chart, but you guys, um, yeah, you see your person as the queen of pentacles, they're showing up as the king of pentacles. So I think you're really seeing them for really who they truly are. They're seeing you as the four of cups. So Gemini, it might be you who is in hermit mode. You might've pulled back just to get a different perspective. Um, I feel like you've definitely gotten that perspective. You might be watching this person, seeing how they're behaving. Are they really truly, um, you know, are they who they say they are? Okay. Um, the Queen of Swords energy is interesting though, because again, it feels like you may have severed ties with this person, or it could be an ex, or it could be a past person. Um, but I also feel like there's an element, Gemini, that you might have been projecting some past hurts and disappointments onto this person. Maybe you guys have a past together, or, you know, something that happened to you in the past, and you're sort of seeing things much differently now, you know, and especially as we're coming out of Mercury retrograde, um, you know, there might have been a lot of confusion. And as Mercury is going direct, um, we're seeing things for, you know, we're seeing solutions to our problems. We're seeing things for how they really truly are. All right. Your person sees you though, as a little bit closed off. Maybe, um, they're a little bit worried about if they're, if you're going to accept an offer again, there could be a separation between you or an argument. Um, it could also, I'm getting, there may have been an, an ex who came back, um, either to talk to you or to talk to them. Okay, and that could have caused a little bit of tension. So I feel like they're a little bit worried about whether or not you'll accept their offer or their apology. 
um, they see the relationship as the high priestess in reverse. So some of you guys definitely dealing with the Pisces. In the Pisces reading, you guys should check that out because there was an energy of like them wanting to come rushing towards you. But the King of Pentacles is slow and steady. He's strategizing. He's thinking about things. Remember, take gender out of it. Um, but with the High Priestess, there's a little element of frustration of not being able to be physically together or things, you know, not, you know, maybe not working out the way that, that your person wanted them to, but there's also a very psychic connection. And with the moon and the high priestess, this is Neptunian energy, again, more Virgo energy as well, Pisces and Virgo energy here, um, that, you know, your person's going to make a move. This person wants to move towards you. This is the king of pentacles. I'm seeing that, you know, they're a little bit concerned though. They might be thinking about when, where, how, Okay, so we have the emperor in reverse. Interesting. So it could be that somebody in this connection um, was trying to control too much the outcome. Um, it could also be that somebody wasn't leveling up. All right. And it could, you know, it could be you, it could be them. Um, but somebody wasn't quite ready for the commitment. I feel like if it was your person, they absolutely are now. And I think also, you know, you were trying to suss them out. I wanted to call you Pisces because I'm looking at this high priestess and the moon card here, Gemini. But, you know, I think you, you may have pulled back your energy just to see, okay, what's going on? Um, the emperor energy is a divine masculine energy. It's warrior energy. So somebody here may not have been fighting for the relationship. Um, maybe you weren't sure if you wanted to fight for this relationship. Okay, so again, you're getting a change in perspective. We see the Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody's going to come in with an apology. I feel like your person, again, it's your King of Pentacles. They're worried about if you're, not go if you're going to accept their offer or their apology. They might also know if you guys haven't been with this person, uh, you don't have history with this person, they might be worried if you're going to accept them, their offer, you know, to go out on a date or maybe to take things to the next level. Um, they recognize here the Emperor and the Page of Cups here is like something might have gotten out of control where they regret it um, emotionally. I'm not saying like, you know, any sort of fighting or that sort of thing. But what I also feel here is there's hesitancy here to sort of step up. And again, it might have been your person. They recognize that. Um, and I, and I do, but I feel like all of that's changing and we have the two of swords. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of resistance. There's an energy of stalemate here. Um, but I do feel like this is coming, you know, with the moon card and the high priestess in reverse, it's like I th somebody's going to make a move towards one another. Okay. But your person's a little bit worried about, you know, whether or not you're going to accept their offer. You might just not be sure if this is the right connection for you, um, because of what happened or because of your past even, but I do feel like you're getting a new perspective. You're seeing things differently. You're seeing them as being able to offer you stability, but there's a little bit of this queen of swords and reverse energy of someone being anchored in the shadow. So replaying past hurts and disappointments. Okay. Maybe somebody didn't step up. Maybe somebody did something, you know, that could have been jealousy. It could have been emotional immaturity here that, you know, really caused you guys to pause here. All right. Overall energy is the justice in reverse. So some of you guys are divorced from this person. Um, you know what I'm getting here? Some of you guys, this person may even be sort of incarcerated or they may have been in another connection and you might be really thinking, you know, is this what I want? Is this person, you know, this person might be wondering if you, if you'll take them back after what you found out they've done. And I don't feel like they did something to you, but it could be, it could be something with their finances or it could have been, you know, an altercation, a run in with the law that sort of thing. And, and I, I do feel like you're starting to doubt some of this Gemini. Okay. You're starting to doubt either something they told you or maybe something you found out. Um, and they're a little bit worried. They're worried they've sort of messed things up. Um, but let's go ahead and see justice in reverse tells me that there is some sort of karma here being healed. I do feel like they're going to move towards you that they feel that this is a very strong spiritual connection. And I do feel like there's an apology coming in all right, so this this has been an interesting sort of theme in in the readings today, like an apology, um, you know, many of you in separation. And again, if you don't have a history with this person, I, I feel like this King of Pentacles, they may just be watching you. Um, and uh, it may be somebody that they haven't really uh, told you how they feel. Um, but I feel like you're going to find out. <laughs> you're going to find out pretty soon. So let's see why this moon is here for you guys in reverse, Gemini. All right, we get the four of pentacles. Yeah. 
Some of you guys, Gemini, you guys have been really holding back either giving this person a decision. They may have even sent you a message and you might be taking a while to respond to it because you're sussing them out. You're trying to see if they've changed. You're trying to see if they're true to their word, if you can trust this person. All right, interesting. You see them as the queen of pentacles. Yeah, look at that. You see them as somebody that you want to marry. Maybe you are married to them. You see them as your person. This is 1111. This is soulmate energy. Like you see this person and maybe, you know, some of you guys have been holding back or you weren't telling them how you felt. And they're really picking up on that with the four of cups until you got a clearer picture. I feel like you have a pretty clear picture of this person, but the relationship, again, they might, you might feel like they need to cut ties with their past. Some of them, these, this person might have like, you know, have a dark past or have a criminal past, or maybe it's, you know, a, a tumultuous relationship with an ex that you feel like they really need to cut those cords. Um, you know, maybe they need to get, get a divorce or they, you know, fully need to separate, whatever it might be. There's something about this person's past that's making you sort of question this relationship. Gemini. Okay. And let's see, two of wands. Yeah. Some of you guys have given them an ultimatum. Some of you have told them they absolutely have to make a decision between you and another person, um, between, um, you know, or, or just, it, it's almost like you're waiting to see if they're going to prove themselves to be honest, to be worthy, if they're going to come at you correct after whatever this is that you found out or whatever it is that happened. Um, I do feel like your person is sincere you know, the King of Pentacles, he's looking at his Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing this like direct line. All right, your person is showing up. Look at that Queen of Swords. Wow. So some of you guys, um, yeah, you guys may have been, there might be something that happened between you guys that created a lack of trust. Um, it could have been something that you said. It could have been something you saw or heard during Mercury retrograde. It could be that this was a past relationship and you guys had a nasty breakup. But, you know, I do feel like this person, um, you know, they they want to repair things with you. That's what I'm getting. They want to move towards you. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, they're very honest. They know what they want. They're going to, there's going to be very direct and very clear communication for some of you. This person is coming in to say that they've changed. Okay. I feel like, again, I don't feel like necessarily because they were like, they were dogging you or they had other options, but there may have been something about their past that made you kind of uncomfortable. I think they were open and honest. They might be a little bit worried about, you know, they might have told you something here, Gemini. Um, and they're like, oh my gosh, I lost Gemini, but it was like something they had to tell you, you know, maybe they spent time in jail. Maybe, um, you know, maybe you found out they have a child. Um, maybe they had like a nasty, you know, relationship in the past, or I keep getting something with finances too. There might've been something having to do with money that was a little bit shady, not with you though. I mean, I'm not getting that there was anything against you, but I feel like it gave you pause, Gemini. You're like, hmm, you know, is this really, you know, can I trust this person? Is this the type of person I want to be with? But it's like, you see them as your marriage partner, as your life partner, as your soulmate, as somebody who can offer you stability and nurturing. Um, you may have, you may have asked them to make a decision between, you know, work, you know, you might see this person as a workaholic. And so you might have said, hey, you know, I don't, you know, I, I want our relationship to be healthy. Okay. So there's a lot of different sort of scenarios coming through here, gems. All right. You get, yeah, the four of cups and the nine of cups. They're worried you're going to walk away, Gemini. They really are. They're worried they're going to lose you. They're worried that you're going to walk away. For some of you, this person may have had like a drinking problem, or maybe they were involved with drugs or gangs or something in their past. Um, and they're worried that you've shut off your heart to them because of them telling you this, but I do feel like they were forthright and they were forthcoming. Okay. Um, I think you do still see them as like, as a powerful presence in your life. You love them. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that you're, you're still a little bit, you're a little bit concerned about something here, whether or not they're going to actually step up and change. Maybe they need to come in and offer you an apology. All right. So let's go ahead and see you know, and again, what I'm getting with all of this Neptunian energy, it's like, and the two of swords, there's definitely some mirroring going on here. Okay. There's definitely some mirroring happening. So you guys both might just sort of be taking a time out, kind of watching each other. Um, but I feel like Gemini, your person's like hoping you're not going to leave them or, you know, you're going to give them another chance. Yeah. All right. This person, if they, 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 
they have this connection with you. I feel like it's unmistakable. It's not like anything they've ever had before. Um, it's really causing them to think. I feel like your person's a little bit worried here. Um, I do feel like your person, again, may have been dealing with something in their past that was a little bit dark. Um, I feel like they told you about it. Again, you might be just be thinking about it. Is this something you can live with? Is this something you can deal with? Um, you know, but I, I do feel like the love is there. Um, there may be, you guys might be in separation. What I'm getting here with this nine of cups in reverse that like they're worried that, you know, you don't feel the same way about them anymore. Okay. The emperor in reverse, we get the three of cups in reverse. Yeah. So they want to bring balance to this relationship. Um, you may have heard something from somebody else about this person. Okay. You do need to check and see that it's true. Okay, because I do feel like there might be something here that was like a half-truth. Um, yeah, so just be aware of that, you guys. Like somebody, you know, people might have been gossiping about this person. Make sure you have all the facts. I feel like if you, if you haven't confronted them or you did, that they did tell you the truth with that Queen of Swords. Um, somebody might, there might have been also energy of... You know, this person's a player. This person, you know, had other options. Again, there could have been an ex that came back. It could have been to sabotage this connection. Um, again, feel free to swap the energies. But the Three of Cups in reverse with the Emperor in reverse is like, I feel like there was some sort of gossip that was deliberately meant to sort of break you guys up or it was a misunderstanding. Because I do feel like if, if your person... And you might have said, you know what, I need to think about this. I need to think about why people are coming to me and saying these types of things. You know, what did he or she or they mean when they said this? You know, but I feel like you can trust your person. All right. Um, Page of Cups. And I feel like if something did happen, Gemini, it's like it wasn't like it wasn't what everybody made it out to be. You know, and so they might regret sort of putting themselves in a position that looked bad. Um, that's where I'm getting this sort of apology coming in, but it's, a, it's all about getting the facts, the truth. And I really do feel like your person, if you're confronting them or you did that, whatever they told you, they told you the truth. Okay. We get the three of swords. Yeah. There's regret. They want to come out of the cold. There's an apology coming in Gemini. Absolutely. They want to fix things. This is so crazy. This is like, I, this is like this. I've done two, three other readings and all of them were about like apologies, reconciliation, um, moving forward. Again, trust yourself here. Queen of Wands in reverse for some of you guys. Um, yeah, somebody did tell you there was a third party here. But look at the bottom of the deck. We get the five of pentacles feeling rejected, feeling left out in the cold. I feel like this is your person, Gemini. They don't want you to um, to walk away from them. They want to come in with an apology. Um, so for some of you, there may have been a third party situation. And I know that's unacceptable for a lot of us. But, you know, on this channel, we don't judge. And, you know, I'm not going to lie if I didn't say I never gave somebody a second chance. You know, when there's love there, somebody comes in. Um, you know, and, and, you know, it, it may not be that this person had a third party interference. It could be that they're a workaholic. Um, it could be that something happened while they were drinking. Um, you know, it's going to be different for each and every one of us. And you guys know what is acceptable and what is not acceptable for you. And if you're going to give this person a second chance, um, I do feel like this person has lost a little bit of confidence. They're worried about you walking away. Um, they're worried that, you know, whatever it is that you found out or whatever happened between you guys. Um, and, and for some of you, it's just gossip. It was just gossip. And, you know, they, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you, how to apologize. Um, and for me, this Queen of Wands energy it could be fire energy, but it could also be, um, you know, something that happened like at a party or in like a group. Um, and I, I feel like, I feel like you need to have all the facts, Gemini, before you make a decision, okay? It could be, you know, this could be a past person, something that broke you guys up. All right, I feel like, you know, this person, they want to come out of the cold. It could be you. Yeah, they're, they're, you're going to get some sort of message. Can we move beyond this? You know, can we, you know, can we work this out? It's up for each and every one of you to decide. All right, your situation is going to be different. The intensity of, you know, what happened between you guys. Um, yeah, you're going to have to trust your intuition, Gemini.
All right, so we get clarity and belief. Yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. For some of you, it's something that you heard or something that somebody told you. You need to talk directly to this person. And if it was during Mercury retrograde, this past one that was affecting our 11th house, Aquarius energy, you know, that's stuff that happened online. You saw something, you heard something, you read something, somebody told you something. All right, I do feel like your person or this person, they are telling you the truth but it will need you guys having a conversation. Yeah, this person, Gemini, your person wants to put in the effort. They wanna heal things, they wanna repair things. Maybe you felt like, okay, they weren't ready for commitment. It could have been something that they said or that they did. You know, remember we just had Valentine's Day, so it could be that your person like didn't show up for you on Valentine's Day or something like that, and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, they don't love me, This they're not into this. Okay, There's there is some sort of, clarity, some sort of conversation that's going to take place that they do want to work things out with you. Virgo energy. Um, yeah. And this is what I was picking up on. You've really gone within Gemini. You've, you're holding back until you get a clear picture until you have all the facts. I feel like your person is also strategizing. They've gone within, they're trying to figure out how to fix this, how to come towards you. And we get these two birds here. They're really highlighting that like two, you know, love birds. This is a soulmate connection and we have a tower moment. Yeah. Something unexpected. Again, that electricity, we had a lot of energy with Uranus. Um, you know, the great awakener changes again it could be something that you know something online that you heard or you saw that really sort of created um, a huge rift between you guys um, it could be also this person if this person was like working a lot and they didn't show up for you on valentine's day or they weren't putting in the effort into this relationship it's like you pulled back your energy gems and that was a huge tower moment for them because again, in this reading, it's like they don't want to lose you. They're worried that you're not going to either take them back. You're not going to listen to them. You're not going to accept their offer. Um, there's something here that's unfair. Again, it, you might have found out that this person had a little bit of, um, you know, a darker past. Um, they're worried that, you know, that's, you know, that's going to seal the deal. That's going to end things, not seal the deal. That's going to end the relationship. So sacrifice, there are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you. I feel like this is your energy, Gemini. You're trying to decide like, is this person worth it? Okay, is this situation worth it? Can I live with this person's past or can I live with what this person did or what I heard or what I saw or what I thought I heard or what I thought I saw? And that's really this energy, that moon energy. You're gonna be seeing things really clearly and you can see there's like a darker energy to this card. You know, something that was hidden has been illuminated or something. Um, but I also get that you can't trust what everybody else is saying. You, you have to have that conversation with this person. Look at that. But the return of Aphrodite, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess. So I've, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this was a necessary, um, a necessary sort of stop on your guys's journey and not every relationship is perfect but if you want it love is is here love is here this is you know an aphrodite blesses a reading it's about like bringing you know it's this like sexy energy it's playful it's looking good it's feeling good um you know but it's up to you you know gemini it's up to you to decide is this is this for you and you need to trust your intuition i feel like many of you guys you're going to see past whatever this is and you're there is going to be reconciliation that you're going to give this person another chance um, I think there's a lot of passion between you guys, but with these two dolphins, I think it's at a soul level here, Gemini, that it's almost like, you know, I don't care about your past. I care about what, how you treat me and I care about your present. All right. So it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful type energy. I feel like this was a tower moment for both of you. All right. Again, it's sort of a very specific message. Some of you guys are finding out that your person, you know, has a dark past, Something that maybe even made you question whether or not you can be with them. All right, we get intuition. So yeah, trusting your intuition. You already know though, it's like you see this person, you see this person as your four of wands, as the queen of pentacles. It's like what you know of this person, Gemini, is really what you can trust, not what you heard and not you know necessarily what their past might say they are. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Yeah. Okay. So something from the past, something needs to be healed. All right. And we get addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship. Yeah. For some of you guys, you may be finding out that might be what's in their past. 
Okay, whether you might find out that this person had an addiction to drink or to substances or gambling or something along those lines. Okay, you need to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. At the bottom of the deck, we get go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Okay, so again, don't jump to conclusions here, Gemini. Trust your intuition, what you know of this person. How this person treats you. I mean, if, if if that's good, I mean, it's not about turning a blind eye to everything that you hear or, you know, everything in their past, but you're being asked to, you know, to get a, to get a higher perspective here with the moon and um, the hanged man in reverse. It's about getting a higher perspective, flooding that crown chakra before you make any decisions. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there's a lot of attraction between you guys. I see that here with the devil energy. Again, your person may have been dealing, you know, with addictions or something a little bit dark in their past. I do feel like they've changed. Okay. Again, it could be somebody from their past that was like, hey, so-and-so, you know, when we were younger, you know, I don't know, we were gangbangers or we were whatever, you know, like we used to you know, rob convenience stores or whatever. And it's not, I mean, that's not going to be for all of you. And I'm not even being glib about it. Um, but it's really about you trusting what you know of your person, whatever it is that you're finding out. You know, it could be somebody came back and was like, oh, so-and-so, you know, is a real womanizer or, you know, is a real player or a playette. But that's not how they are now. Okay. So it's like, it's, you know, spirits like trust the attraction between you guys. Um, also raising your vibration because I do feel like this might have spun you out. Let your friends help you. So ask for and accept support from others. So I feel like, you know, they're probably talking to their friends about, you know, how, how they can approach you. They might be asking your friends. Um, but again, I do feel like there was a little bit of gossip that might have come from like a frenemy or from like an old friend from the past. Um, all right, we get retreat. So it's time to disconnect from the world. So I do feel like you know, this could be you guys going in your separate directions for the moment, um, just to sort things out, figure out how you feel. But I also feel like this is you guys coming together with having that heart to heart conversation, being really vulnerable. Like, let's talk about this. This really needs to happen. Yeah. And there's this separation. Some of you guys are in separation from this person. Um, others of you, this is your person's, you know, biggest fear that this is going to break you guys up. All right. So, um, gems, Take it how it resonates. I know this is a, you know, this is a little bit of a darker reading, but hey, you know, we've moved into Pisces season and, you know, we're not going to hold back. All right. Trust. So transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. For some of you guys, yeah, there, your, your person has made a transformation. You'll know, you'll know transformation. All right. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transform all things. That's the, actually the message I'm getting. And right on top of Aphrodite for many of you, this is like a big setback. This has been really hard. Okay. It may have even broken you up or maybe you thought it was the end. You know, some of you were like, no, I can't live with this information, whatever it is, no judgment here on this channel. But, um, but this is, this is necessary for your relationship to actually grow and to deepen. Okay. And then we get balance. So love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. Um, a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yeah. And it's like spirit saying not everything's going to be, you know, roses and unicorns. You know, you guys might've moved through the honeymoon period and you're finding stuff out, you know, that's going to challenge you how you feel and really truly it being a test, you know, do you really want this still? Gemini, is this the person you really want? Many of you are coming to that conclusion. All right, and then we get time. So you are trying too hard, give it time. All right, so having patience. This could be a message for your person, giving you the time that you need to figure things out, or Gemini, um, you just taking the time. Don't try to rush your, you know, your feelings or how you feel about this situation. All right, this was a lot longer reading, but I felt like it was necessary here, Gems. I love you guys. You guys show me so much continual love and support on this channel. Um, so thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care.